What's up YouTube? This is Brian from Bull Strength coming at you with another video and today we're going to be talking about the single leg deadlift. The single leg deadlift, like the single leg squat, is an excellent movement at building core stability and also ensuring balance in the posterior chain. Now if you're not new to the channel, you know that I am a huge proponent of single leg training, unilateral training in general. I believe it's an excellent tool at building balance and also preventing injury. So before we even get into the form, let's talk about when you should be doing single leg deadlifts. I never like to double up on deadlifts on my deadlift day. So if my primary movement for the day is, let's say, a trap bar deadlift, I'm not going to want to do a single leg deadlift as an accessory movement just because of how taxing deadlifts are in general. Anytime you're doing deadlifts, you have to be very mindful of the amount of total volume that you're doing for the day. So on my deadlift day, I'd be more likely to do a single leg squat or a split squat, whereas on my squat focus day, I'd be more likely to do a single leg deadlift. All right, so let's get into the form here. So the first thing you're going to need is some pretty good hamstring flexibility. If you are lacking hamstring flexibility, you're gonna have a very difficult time with this movement. So if you're very tight, you need to spend some time sort of stretching out and releasing your hamstrings and possibly your glutes before you can even really attempt to do this movement. All right, so first we're gonna stand up straight and kind of soften our knees a little bit. What you wanna do next is pick a spot in front of you and stare at it, okay? So this is very similar to what they tell you in yoga, and this is going to promote better balance in general. All right, so with our knees softened and our eyes in front of us, the next thing we wanna do is slowly start reaching our hands down towards our feet while kicking the opposite leg back. Now the range of motion here will be determined by the tightness of your hamstring. So if you're a little extra tight, you're probably not going to be able to get a full range of motion here. Because like I said, having tight hamstrings and glutes is going to limit your range of motion here. Just make sure that throughout the entire movement, you're maintaining a flat back. So you're going to do that by kind of keeping your chest up a little bit, pulling your shoulders back slightly. Now, of course, you're reaching down to the ground, so there is going to be some anterior slouch in your shoulders. You just want to be conscious of not letting your shoulders sag too much, so that way there's not too much rounding in your middle back. All right, so let's talk a little bit about progression. Now I actually believe that it's easier to do a single leg deadlift with a single kettlebell or dumbbell. The extra weight in your hand is going to kind of guide you down to the ground a little more gracefully. So lowering the weight is going to be a little bit easier because the heavier weight is guiding you down to the ground. As opposed to having no weight where you're pretty much 100% relying on your balance and stabilization. The next step up would be to use a pair of dumbbells or kettlebells once you're a little more advanced. You want to start adding a little more weight uh, feel free to throw in that second kettlebell and once again it's going to have a very similar effect to having the same side uh, kettlebell in other words it's going to lock your form in a little bit better in the eccentric portion and just like with the single leg squat the ascended form of the single leg deadlift is to perform it with a barbell there's really no way to get the barbell nice and close to you uh, prior to lifting off the ground so the weight is going to be a little bit in front of you I prefer to have my shoulders directly over the barbell, very similar to how you would set up for a pen lay row. So let's say you aren't even capable of doing a single rep of single leg deadlift yet. Let's say your balance is so bad that the second you start kicking your foot back, you're just all over the place and there's really no way for you to comfortably do this movement. You may need to take a step back and just sort of focus on your balance a little bit before jumping straight into a single leg deadlift. The one movement you can do as a beginner is basically to just grab a couple of dumbbells and balance on one leg at a time. Another good exercise for building the balance required to do a single leg deadlift would be a Bulgarian split squat. Not only is it an excellent balance exercise, but it's pretty good for beginners too because that back foot is sort of resting on the bench, so you're not nearly as unstable as you would be if you were trying to do a single leg squat or a single leg deadlift. All right, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon and Subscribestar. Links are down below, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.